Right now we're working on simplifying rational expressions. And basically what we've got here is we've got a fraction right here, and we're basically just looking at reducing this fraction. And when we're reducing fractions, we want to look for common terms. Okay, if we were going to reduce one, let's say that was um, 3 sixths, we've got to figure out a number that goes into both 3 and 6, and we realize it's 3, so we can factor out a 3, and that one reduces down to 1 half. So the same principle is occurring here. Oops. The only difference is now that we're dealing with rational uh, rational expressions, we just we have a variable in there as well. That's pretty much all that there is that's different. Okay, so if we look at this one, we'll make it just a little bit bigger. All right, on this particular one, 42 and 12. We know that they share a common factor. If I look at my factors of 42, uh, I can analyze this one and go, okay, 42 is the same thing as 6 times 7 and then y times y that's my y squared. y squared right here is the same thing as y times y and down below here I have a 12y. I just kinda look at my factors. I know that I've got a 6 up top and I know that a 6 goes into 12 so I'm just gonna write that one. You can factor these all the way out and then cross them off and that would work just fine as well but I'm going to just go ahead and write it here. I know that 12 is 6 times 2 and then on the bottom I have times y. Now when we have the same on top and bottom, because this is all multiplication here, all of these are multiplication, we can just cross them off as long as they are on top and on bottom both. So I'm going to cross that off. The 6's I can cross, those are gone. The Y I can cross off, those are gone. So what I'm left with now, I'm left with a 7Y on the top, all over 2. Okay, So 7Y all over 2, and that's our... Um, that's as simplified as this particular one gets. So that is indeed our answer on this one, 7y over 2. Alright, now let's kind of just look at another one here, just for in a, as an example, if you will. So if I have one that's 8x squared, let's see, reset and try that again, 8x squared all over 24x to the fourth. Okay, so we're going to still do the same basic thing that we were doing up top here, only now we've just got a different variable and some different numbers. I know that 8 goes into both 8 and 24, so I'm going to focus on that. So I've got 8 times x times x on the top. On the bottom, 24. 24 right here is the same thing as 8 times 3. Then I've got 4x's times x times x times x times x. 4x's there. Now, I'm looking at just crossing these ones off. I've got an 8 on the top and an 8 on the bottom. I cross that one off. My 3 doesn't correlate to anything on top, so I can't do anything there. But this x I can cross off top and bottom, top and bottom both. So that leaves me with nothing left up here on the top. So whenever I write my answer, remember I've got to have at least a 1, because this is all times 1 if you wanted to. We could add that in, times 1. So this is 1 over, and I look on my bottom here, and I have a 3 left over, and I have 2 x's. Okay, so 3 times x times x, which would give me 3x squared. And then this one is my answer on the second portion.